John, how frustrating was that for the players yesterday? Yeah, it was frustrating, um, especially being the second time we were all up there preparing, prepared the day before. Um, so yeah, it was extremely frustrating, but there's nothing we can do about it. Especially after a game like Sunday, I guess you guys would be itching to get back out. Yeah, exactly. You just want to play football, especially when you prepare for the, the two days um, to play the game. And then for it to get cancelled the way it did, um, it's frustrating, yeah. What you guys just do? Just wait and wait and wait? Yeah, we just prepared normally um, for the game. And then obviously got the, got the text when all you guys knew as well, just to say the game was off. Um, and that was it, just came back here. On Sunday you had the scar, what happened there? Was it a collision? Uh, yeah, it was a collision. A uh, collision in the box, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling now? Yeah, all good. all good. How are you feeling about this weekend's game? Yeah, feeling good. Um, I think you just want to play as many games as possible um, and stay in a rhythm. Um, so everyone's looking forward to it. Obviously that game being cancelled. We came in today, had a hard session. Um, and everyone's looking forward to the game on Sunday now. Can I be a little silver lining, John, that you've had a few extra days rest? You, usually it's Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, but you've had a whole week off for this big game up in Dingwall. Yeah, but to be honest, I think the boys just prefer playing games, um, play as many games as possible. And uh, I think we've got a big, a big squad and a strong squad that we can, we can cope with that. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. It's off and now all focus is on Sunday. In terms of all this off the field, off the field stuff that's been going on over the last few weeks with Dundee, you know it's going to happen again in seven days time. How difficult has it been for you as a group of players to remain focused just on the task on winning games? Um, I don't think it's been difficult. I think that the gaffer takes takes all the pressure on himself and, and he just says to us, concentrate on the games and I'll deal with everyone on the outside. Um, and that's what happens. We just focus on Yesterday we, we prepared normally as if the game was going ahead and when it was cancelled, it was cancelled, but there's nothing we can do as players. We just had to prepare properly and we'll be doing the same for next weekend. As a player, John, how do you feel about playing in surfaces like that? I, mean, I spoke to Don Robertson yesterday and he said it simply wasn't safe. At the same time, he gave the pitch the go-ahead at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, are you cagey when you go into surfaces like that? Because he's a player yeah, for titles, but at the same time you've got to look after yourself. Yeah, of course. I think there's um, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, all of us have played in bad surfaces, surfaces at one time or another. Um, whenever you're a boys club playing for the school, coming through, playing in public parks, yeah. everyone's played in, in bad surfaces. Um, it's not always been flat green grass, so um, I think everyone wanted to play the game. Um, at the end of the day, it was, it was their decision to call it off. Um, and we respect that, but I think everyone we've played in surfaces this season, which has been far from ideal, Dumbarton in the cup was, was soaking and, and bobbly, so it's part and parcel of football, especially in Scotland when, when the winters are like this, that um, it's not always going to be perfect, but it's, it's important that as a team we, we adapt to it in, in the games previously, we have done. It's difficult to get that sort of surface that you have at Ibrox throughout Scotland because clubs just don't have the money to do it though, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, that's the, that's the thing. Um, yeah, you're right, it boils, boils down to money. Um, but yeah, look, I'll leave that to everyone else to <laughs> answer them questions and uh, I'll just concentrate on the, the football. John, if Dens Park fails next week and it gets moved to another venue with no fans, how would you feel about that? If it gets moved to a another neutral venue, venue you want to play in front of fans. I think every single player will tell you that, that look at the COVID season, it's not the same. It's not the same um, intensity, but hopefully that's something we don't need to deal with. It's a sad indictment if it comes to that in terms of the image of Scottish football. Um, it's if buts or maybe, isn't it? Like, there's no point discussing something that might not happen. So, um, I'll answer that if that happens next week. How would you view these next few weeks for you, from a personal point of view, when you know the Euros are just around the corner? Yeah, to be honest, it's the full focus is on Rangers. Um, it's massive for us. This end of the season, there's six weeks left, probably six, seven weeks left. And everyone knows what's at stake, so for me, my full focus is on every game. Um, I know it's cliche, but it's so important that we, we go into every game with, with full concentration and, and full belief in, in what we've been doing the last ever so months since the gaffers came in. Um, and we stick to everything that's got us in this position, um, and the rest will take care of itself. How do you feel the season's gone for yourself, John? It's a difficult first season here. 
uh, injury wise, how pleased are you just to be able to you know, come through uh, European games, domestic games, general case, stamp your authority on that on that place in the side? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone knows uh, last season for me was far from ideal. It wasn't it wasn't what I, I dreamed of when I when I signed here. Um, but this season, so far, I've uh, I've made up probably for lost time in the games I've played and and the minutes I've had on the pitch. Um, but I think towards the end of the season, I look back in the summer, however we finish this season, um, and hopefully it's a it's a great ending, um, and I'll be doing everything I can personally. And everyone in the changing room will be collectively to make sure it's one we can remember for the rest of our lives. Last one. You talk about that, John, the title race, possibility of winning domestic travel, Euros coming up in the summer. Is this the biggest six weeks, two months of your career? Um, probably when you put it like that, maybe it is. But um, that was your words, not mine. Um, I'll maybe look back when I'm older and maybe look back and think that was a big spell in my career. But just now, um, I'm just focusing on game by game and uh, doing everything I can for, for this club.